have our person that we have chosen this year, and there's a few people that are going to come up and speak on this person's behalf. Um, can I say who it is? Yes. It's Gary Fisher. <laughs> This guy's been working in the field 20 more years than me, and he still takes the time um, to make me feel special each and, time, each and every time that we're together. And oftentimes, in different occasions, I've been asked, you know, what, you know, what he's done for me, and it's difficult to actually explain. But he's provided an example as a result of his action and behavior and how he treats other people. And everybody that engages with him can feel that, and it's a special thing to be a part of. And it's something that I certainly. Um, look up to, and I want to thank him um, from the bottom of my heart for showing up, being authentic, and being, being Gary Fisher. This is a perfect and beautiful place to recognize someone who makes us feel so at home. And I think all of us remember, you know, we're not selling industrial rubber parts. We're, we're working in this field, and it, at that first day, when you're trying to figure out which end is up, and who's in the cool club, and Will I be seen? Will I be heard? And uh, you know, the newcomer's always the most important person in the room. And uh, you know, Fish, you never forgot that. You never forgot that. And uh, so the plaque says on it, uh, a leader knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. And I think you've brought, either directly or indirectly, every single one of us along with you to a place that feels so safe and so warm and there's always a there's always a seat at the cool kids table with Gary. Jay asked me the other day when he called me he said what is it about Gary Fisher? Now mind you Ben's running the program Aaron, Brian, Francine are doing the work he comes up once a week and says what is it about Gary Fisher? I said Jay you know I said I don't know man but one word came to mind of heart. Like the heart of a lion who is so committed to us and to the patients and to the community. And when he's when Gary Fisher tells you he's your friend, he's your freaking friend, man. <laughs> Gary just helps people be a little bit better. Just a little bit better every time. And sometimes a lot better. I am truly sorry for almost killing you. And when I say that, just so you guys know, I almost killed you. And it was not elegant. There was nothing fast, nothing elegant about this. Um, but I'm not very elegant, nor usually very fast. Treatment just seems like we get the same things day to day with a slight variance. You know, it's like, I got this, I can make hopefully just not a bad decision. Maybe I'll just make the next good decision. And I, the day he left, we had three things happen at Cirque Lodge that I'm not kidding you. I was like, I have never seen this in 14 years. And halfway through the day, it was the first day of retirement. Gary texts and he said, are you okay? And I'm like, oh, thanks. He's looking out for me again. I'm like, no, 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 can you take a call? And that's Gary. Can you take a call from any of us? He used to always say that we were everybody's favorite little brother. And the truth is, you're not everybody's big brother. The one we always want. So, thank you for leading us, guiding us, watching over us, and paving the way to care with integrity. And in the spirit of the Winter Marketing Summit, I'll share with you something that Carrie shared with me, is that we are all better together. And the one thing that I'm sure of is that we are all better with you and as a result of you. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce Mr. Gary Fisher, the recipient of the first annual Winter Marketing Summit's Lifetime Leadership Award.
Man, I was I was so busy that you know I, I really had a hard time being present. And uh, I had a, a mentor of mine, a gentleman by the name of Ed Storty. Many of you know Ed. And Ed gave me a, a book. I'll never forget it. It's the book's called Chasing Daylight. He talked about um, that in this last 90 days of his life, he was going to be in the moment. And uh, he called them perfect moments. And, uh, and so he writes this book in the last 90 days. And, uh, and a perfect moment for him was when he wasn't thinking about, you know, gee, I'm going to get finished with this because i got to get out on the mountain or i got to go make that phone call. Or I, but I'm just right here. I'm just with Beeks. You know, I'm just with Penny. And right here, right now. And he called those perfect moments. And, um, and his idea was to string together enough perfect moments to have a perfect day. And so, you know, one of the things that, uh, when I said, I hope you all get a moment like this, because for me, this is a perfect moment. Be anywhere else. You know, I want this to, to go on. I want to be right here, right now. You know, I, I will tell you this, you guys. I, I'm, uh, I have loved doing the work that we do. You know, you know 35 years ago, I, I was in the federal penitentiary. I wasn't there as a staff. <laughs> and, and, uh, you know, and, and, and the fact of the matter is, and I just remember, I, I remember thinking, you know, I, I had been given the gift of recovery again. You know, I, I got into recovery, you know, not because I thought I'd be a sober man, uh, but because, you know, I wanted to mitigate the circumstances surrounding my, uh, you know, my jail term. And, and, and what I'll share with you all, and, and, and what I found out was, you know, just by showing up, just by being here, you know, just by doing the next right thing, you know, amazing things have come to pass in my life. And I, I promise you this, I promise you this, I have given nothing to any of you that wasn't already given to me. And given to me freely. And now, your charge was to go out there and go for the next step. And um, I can only tell you, you guys, it has been the pleasure of my life. So thank you.